So you must chickity check yourself before you riggity wreck yourself. Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here, custom e-bike builder. I'm trying not to melt in this sun. And again, I'm not angry. I'm just squinting to keep the sun out of my eyes. It's like 100 degrees out here in Salt Lake City. I'm trying not to melt the sun, the heat, global warming. E-bikes are helping it, okay? Buy an e-bike, convert, e convert a bike into an e-bike and you will directly help combat global warming. How's that? Today I want to go over a custom e-bike build, specialized crossroads. I want to go over why this bike is freaking sweet. I love this bike. If you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerd Out. I convert bikes into e-bikes. So if you like this one, check out my other videos. Subscribe if you want to. Some people still subscribe. Some people don't. Some people are like, yeah, so they're afraid of commitment. I understand if you're afraid of commitment, like I would suggest seeking a counselor, but other people like this channel might be enough counseling for you. Like you might, like this, this channel goes beyond just bikes. You know, bikes, e-bikes are a way of life. Does that answer your question? Oh, you didn't ask a question? Okay, let's get right into it then. This is a specialized crossroads. This bike is so comfortable. Look at this, look at the seating position. Look at where my hands are. There's zero pressure on my neck, my shoulders, my wrists, everything is upright. I was just cruising around, I was doing like 15 miles an hour, did like a nice casual jaunt. I was so comfortable, I could probably do this all day. I could sit on this bike for probably 15 hours a day. No, 25 hours a day. So anyways, this is a great comfort bike. And I think I'm just getting older and I just wanna be comfortable. I wanna sit on a couch cushion, if at all possible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing couch conversions, sofa conversions. So this is a nice hybrid upright comfort cruiser. Um, what we did, we put a Bafang BBS 02 motor on it. Uh, it's got the 40, he's got a 46 tooth. I think we put a 46 tooth on it. I, I always usually put 44 or 46 tooth. Um, I put integrated headlight and tail lights on it. So it's integrated, you just press and hold the plus button on this display, it's the 500C display and that'll turn on and off the lights. Um, and then this is the 500C color display. I like this display, it's nice and small. The buttons are integrated into the display and it shows you all your information. Shows you your watts that you're using in real time and it shows you your state of charge, your voltage in real time. And it also shows you like that gas gauge, but that's never accurate. But I like that it actually shows you your actual voltage. So you have a little bit more precise gauge of where your battery's at. Got a bell on it. Hey, out of the way, I got diarrhea. You know, that way people could get out of the way and you could get home quick. Um, it's got a throttle on it. So if you're feeling lazy and you just wanna give your legs a vacation, hit the throttle and just go. Got a gear shift sensor on it. Where did we put it? Right here. Um, I put a gear shift sensor on every single build I do. I think it's just the easiest 40 bucks you could spend. Uh, we got a 52 volt, 17 and a half amp hour battery with Samsung cells in it. So this bike is gonna probably get, you know, depending on how you ride it, between 40 and 60 miles. All right, so let's go do a Johnny Nerd Out test. And just so I clarify what the Johnny Nerd Out test is, I check top speed without pedaling, just under motors. Um, I do a rolling hill climb, and the hill is like a, I don't know, 20% grade. I do a hill climb test from a rolling start, and I do one from a dead stop at the base of the hill just to kind of see how it does. And all of them I do without pedaling, so it's just what the motor can do. Just to give you an idea, because if I'm pedaling with it, that can vary, that could be such a varying thing. So this is just under power of the motor. And if you add your leg power, you're gonna see an increased performance on all these tests. Well, let's go check it out. So you can see this thing did like what, 35 miles an hour with just the motor? I mean, this thing is, it's a fast bike if you want it to be, but if you don't want it to be, it's just gonna be a nice, comfortable cruiser. And yeah, if you've got one of these bikes like this sitting in your garage, has been used in a while, man, it's got rim brakes, but these rim brakes were great. Like <laughs> these rim brakes work better than some disc brakes that I've tested before. So don't rule out rim brakes. Just make sure that they're good ones and they're in good shape and you're fine. All right, cool. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Ask me any questions and yeah, see you later.